What's going on, growers and streams? Pigeon Yoni coming to you live from Jersey. It's July 30th today. The flowers are in full bloom and the tomatoes are ripe. So today, me and Tuck want to take you along for a massive backyard garden harvest. Let's go! <laughs> Before we get to harvesting, me and Tuck need to give you an overview of what the backyard looks like because the food forests are just loaded and in peak production. Look at some of the flowers back here, the beautiful raised beds. As you track along, the Honeycrisp apple is looking so nice. It's got a bunch of apples on it. Tomato Alley, absolutely loaded with tomatoes. This apple tree is just stacked with apples. I mean, look how many apples are on that thing. Track a little to the left. So many cucumbers along the fence line. Tomatoes getting really tall over there. More tomatoes here. We got massive amounts of squash that need to be harvested in there. And then there's just, uh, just so much food as you track through this food forest. It's just uh, absolutely loaded. We've even got some grapes that are starting to ripen just right below you there. And we're gonna harvest some of those today. But before I get to the grapes, let's start things off by grabbing some massive tomatoes from Tomato Alley. Get your way over here. As we move into Tomato Alley, as you see, we've just got so many tomatoes. This is what we've been waiting all year for. Tomatoes are one of our favorite all-time crops to grow. Let's start things off with this set right here. This is the Dr. Weich's Yellow. So let's grab some of these. Nice sets. Tuck's already looking like he's getting hungry. Look how beautiful these tomatoes are. <laughs> Incredible. Love to see it. We're going to be filling some bowls up today, but that's the idea. Check out this tomato here. This is the, this is the Wizen, I can't pronounce that. This is a Ukrainian variety tomato. Looking really nice. We'll get this fat guy right here. Might be tough to get this one out. Cut it from the back. Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. You're not going to like these tough. We'll get you some cucumbers later. Let's get this other one in the back here too. Another one ready, look at the shape, look at the color, look at the beauty. I mean, you can't paint a picture more perfect. I've got some really cool varieties I'm gonna grab today. Let's track back just a little bit. Let's get some of the black cherries. The black cherry tomato, nice color on these. They remind me of the Roselle, but they're a little bigger. We've got some over here. Let's move this way. Let's grab one of those mushroom baskets over there. I've got another plant, another mushroom basket tomato that has even more tomatoes on it but this one looks like it's getting ripe so let's get this one we've had a couple nice nights so the tomatoes are really starting to ripen this is the like I said time of year we've been waiting for <laughs> look how beautiful some of the flowers are we have in the back too so we've been putting a lot of different flowers in the food forest it's not only added beauty but it's brought in so many different pollinators here's the uh, Berkeley tie-dye this one looks pretty cool but I got to show you the Berkeley tie-dye I have in the back I mean the colors on that one is just amazing Let's keep going though. More to grab. Here's one of my all time favorite tomatoes. If you've watched the channel, you've seen me talk about this. This is the Soldaki. This thing is so productive, so consistent, and one of my all time favorite sandwich tomatoes. You don't get much better. Before we keep harvesting, I want to mention to grab some of the merch at jamesprigioni.com. This is the summer merch. It's a limited time thing. We're about to close the sales. So if you want to grab the summer merch, make sure you do while you still can. Let's get this one. Look how many beautiful sets it has. It will split sometimes a little bit, but uh, just overall incredible tomato. One more we'll grab here. <laughs> and, the, and the baskets are already starting to fill up. Probably have to get a new one soon, but let's move over to this, Castelluto Genovese. This one has been attacked by the birds a little bit, but don't worry, I've got another Castelluto Genovese in my other garden that's doing even better than this one. So we're just gonna grab one of these. And then we'll move over to uh, another, uh, I think this is the, yep, this is a German variety. This might be the same as the other, the, I meant the Ukrainian one. Look at how beautiful this is. Look how cool this one is. This is one of the coolest tomatoes, I think, in the garden right now. Look at the size. Look at the shape. Man, this is an incredible heirloom variety. Organic. And look at Tuck. He's, getting so, he's watching in amazement. He wants some snacks. So we got a few more tomatoes I want to grab, then we're going to get him some snacks. But let's just keep going. I'm going to have to carry the rest because that basket's uh, pretty much full. Let's sneak back here. We've got a couple ripe here. This one's just ripe. We'll take this one real quick, move over to another one. 
follow me back here. And actually, before you do that, take a little look up real quick. Look how beautiful these sunflowers are and look at the amount of activity. All the bees are just going nuts back here. All the pollinators, they're having a blast. And look at the, this, uh, back up a little bit. Look at the sunflower, <laughs> look at the sunflower next to me. This thing has got to be 15 or 15 feet tall. The biggest sunflower I've ever grown. I'm proud of this one. And it's really cool. If you look at this back corner, come over here now. Look how much stuff we got growing back here. Look at all the flowers and everything. It's just turned into a super productive corner. This variety, uh, I planted a variety of tomato and it's not what it said it was. So this is kind of a, like a mistake tomato in a way. I'm not even sure what variety it is, but look at this one right here. This is the blue beauty. Look at the color, incredible heirloom variety. Awesome color. It's supposed to be the blue tomato. Look at that. Just beautiful. More sets right here. Whoops, I can't really get to that. Let me get on this side. Then just so many more tomatoes up here to grab. A lot of these are ripe. I'm gonna grab the majority of them, but I just wanna grab one more tomato in this back corner. The other Berkeley tie-dye I was telling you about. Look at this. Look at the color. Look at this. That is so insane looking. Absolutely beautiful. I haven't tried this tomato yet, but I mean, just for the color, it's, it's a really cool one. We've got so many more things to grab, so let's keep moving. I've got some, uh, my super sweet 100s in the pot, still doing good, starting to produce more tomatoes, and this thing's starting to grow up the peach tree as well. Behind me, we've got the cucumber. This thing's got some fresh cucumbers on it, the one in the pot. Grab this guy right here, and then look at this, look, track up. Look at this one growing up the peach tree, and it's got uh, cucumbers on it. <laughs> How cool is that? Let's keep going, though. Let me bring you to these raised beds over here and grab a few different things. Then we'll get back to harvesting even more tomatoes because <laughs> there's so many to grab. Cucumbers growing up the single string strings here, doing well. I'm gonna grab that. Keep going over here. We've got some dragon tongue beans, my favorite variety of bean. We'll see if Tuck wants one of those. Tuck want a dragon tongue boy? So here's the dragon tongues. They are so good and they are productive and uh, just you cannot beat this bean in my opinion. Some people have told me they've grown them and they just couldn't be happier. So if you've never grown the dragon tongues, make sure you get some in the ground. We'll see if they're tuck approved. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is the good stuff, right boy? This is what he's been waiting for. We'll let him snack on that. We'll move over to our left a little bit more. This bed is doing fantastic. Also look at the size of some of these Ajvarsky peppers. Just massive. We've also got some uh, onions in the back here. Grab an onion or two if we want. Not huge, but you can barely even see them growing back there. I gotta keep moving though. We got a lot more stuff to grab. Let's go. I showed you these apples already. Come over here though. I wanna show you the uh, cucumbers growing up the single string. <laughs> Look at this right here. This is an area where most people wouldn't even have planted anything. It's at the end of the bed, but if you notice, growing up this string, there's some cucumbers and look at the size of some of these suyo longs. Look at this. Incredible. Compared to me. <laughs> we got to put this thing next to Tuck. Crack it open and see if he wants a bite with the size of this thing. It's like as big as he is. Got more up here. I want to take this one too. And then if you look up, there's even more young ones there. So, so much food. Let's keep going though. I showed you this the other week. These are the Mexican gherkins, the sour ones, they're pretty good. This is when they're ready. They look like little watermelons. They've got a nice pop to them, a nice crunch, and a pretty decent flavor too. So really good stuff. Like I mentioned, flowers. We've got a lot of them this year. Look how beautiful the aster is. That's starting to wake up. Just striking in my opinion. Love to see it. And then this spot right here. <laughs> yeah, this might be a door to our chicken pen, but it's actually turned into a cucumber producing machine. Look at this. Look how many we have back here. Let's take this one. One, let's take this one, two, then let's get the other ones in here. It's a nice one. Three, four, another one down here. Five, let's check over here. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> more in the back, more hanging. It's just uh, insane, it's insane. Look at this guy. He went for the smaller one. What he really wants is us to crack it open for him so we can get to the good stuff. This is where the water is. This is where the good stuff is, right boy? 
You can snack on that if you want tough. We're gonna keep moving. We got more stuff we need to grab. Come to the right here. <laughs> Here's our biggest tomatoes in the garden so far. This is another super sweet 100. Absolutely loaded with fruit. Look at the size of it. And look at the size of the sun gold too. <laughs> loaded. Look at this thing's gotta be 10 feet tall already. And this thing is just going to keep going. Along the fence line, there's a bunch of cucumbers. You can see some melons too. Look at that Charentai melon, looking beautiful. And then just look right below that here. So many cucumbers down there. And then just look directly below you. <laughs> More cucumbers down there. My favorite variety, the Socrates. So good. This way, we've got the Chadwick cherry tomato right here, looking good. I like these ones. These are kind of like more of a mouthful, this tomato. Let's take a bite of this one. Mm. Good flavor. Reminds me kind of of the Super Sweet 100, but not as sweet, but still real good flavor. Along the fence, more cukes and stuff. I mean, endless amount of cucumbers down there, more cucumbers. Over there, more cucumbers, but let's be done with the cucumbers for now and move back over to some tomatoes. Look at this mushroom basket. This is the one I was talking about. Look how loaded this mushroom basket is. Some ripe down there, look at the ones above it. The next round too. Let's get this mushroom basket right here. Look at this. One of my favorite looking tomatoes. The pink blush, amazing. The ribbing, incredible. It's just, a, the, the flavor is so good too. This is a really good tomato, guys. You gotta, Gotta get this one in. It's an heirloom too. Let me get this other mu mushroom basket. Look at that. This is like the Costaluto Genovese, but a little bigger, and uh, it seems to have incredible disease resistance. So we're gonna stick with the mushroom basket for now in the future. Great tomato. Let's move over into the other fruit forest and grab some more stuff. We'll start off by grabbing this ancient Native American squash. This thing is just incredible. It's the white scallop squash. Not only does it taste great, it's incredibly productive. This thing has been around said since like the 1590s. So this is a really old variety and it's got so many squash on it. Here's one that's probably a little bit too big. There's more over there, but before we get to that one, I know we've got some castados right there too. Castado Romanesco, let's grab one of these. Let's get this one right there. Swing around. Here we get, this is like the ideal perfect size. Look at that. Oh, man, this is such a good squash. You guys gotta grow this one and you gotta grow the patty pan. Let's get some more out of them in here. Another one here. Grab that one. Another one right over here. That one. This is all one plant. And I know there's more over here. <laughs> it's just insane how productive it is. So good. And behind it, this is what you don't want to see. Here's a castado that I missed. Getting a little big. We're going to take it out now, but this thing is way bigger than I want it to be. Let's keep moving though, because there's more in here. Look, another one that got pretty big. We'll take that one, move to the right a little more. Another one ready in there, right here. <laughs> I mean, the, the food is just like nonstop at this point. Let me hop into this bed though because we've got some massive cucumbers in the back. And then if you notice, coming a little bit, you notice is huge cucumbers in the back. You'll see, look at them doing real well. But right in front of it, I've got a new round of all cucumbers planted. So if these ones start to slow down, we've got the next round coming up. So we're always looking towards the future. We're not just focused on today's harvest. Get this one, and I gotta get this one. <laughs> look at this thing. Ooh, where is it? Look, <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. All right, let's grab some more tomatoes and stuff. <laughs> we'll put this stuff down here, come back for it, but let's get another soldaki right here. Look at this, how beautiful this tomato is. Let me show you. Oh, I love this tomato so much. Right next to me right here, I'm pretty sure this is the Cherokee purple. I lost the label on it, but I'm pretty positive it's a Cherokee purple. So some of them are getting close. It looks like they need a little more time, but this one up here looks like it's about ripe. Nice color on this one. Beautiful. Darker, you can see where you get that Cherokee purple name. Really nice stuff right there. Love this tomato. Let's move in the back right over here just real quick because this is this tomato right here. 
If you guys remember from my tomato tree video, this is the cherry bomb. This is the one that I call the tomato tree because this thing can just get massive. Like the Super Sweet 100s, it gets huge, but this thing, it just doesn't stop. It's got incredible disease resistance. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Go over and grab some beans and stuff. Looks like Tuck's still working here. The yellow beans need to be harvested because they're at peak production. Look at that. Look how many beans are on just one plant. And they still taste incredible. Really good flavor to them. Let me get a little crunch, see if Tuck wants a bite. Mm. Juicy and delicious. Not as good as the dragon tongue, but still really good. I don't know how that cucumber got over there. I bet Tuck took it. Brought it over there, it's, uh, just hilarious. Come this way though, I got more to show. And more to grab, technically. Let's get some tomatoes from this bed. Like I mentioned, I had a Costaluto Genovese that's doing better in this section than the other. Look at this Costaluto. <laughs> this is what you love to see. Look how many tomatoes are on this thing. We'll just get this whole set right here. Look at that. Look at the beauty. Smaller than the mushroom basket. Check these out right here. This is the Sunrise Bumblebee. Let me show you some of these. Really cool looking color on it. Look at that. Just beautiful. Then here we've got more of the Chadwick cherries that I showed you earlier. Doing real good. Move to the left a little more. We've got some of the purple Bumblebee. Looking nice. Not much purpling, but still pretty good tomato. Super Sweet 100s, I've shown you that a bunch of times. Over to the left over here, this is a tomato. some tomatoes are not doing good right here. This is one I wouldn't grow again. This is the Michael Pollan tomato. Michael Pollan is awesome, he's the man, but I do not think his variety of tomato is that great, to be honest. Then right here, we've got the Berries Crazy Cherry. This thing's starting to put out a lot of fruit. It's got big sets, not as impressed as I thought it was gonna be, but still pretty cool. Here's the Brad's Atomic Grape. These ones look really, really cool, but, um, but they're not that, that productive. Let's actually taste one though and see if a, see if it can have a see if it has a good flavor basically. Actually super impressed. A very good flavor. Sweet, a little bit mild, not a lot of acidity. So not a super productive plant, but incredibly striking for the way it looks and actually a really good flavor. So we've got some stuff in the back. Show you a few more varieties. The blue cream berries. Just give you an overview. You'll notice there's a plane flying up over top. We just live in a regular suburban area, so you're gonna hear some background stuff, but it's just a regular backyard. Look at the gooseberries, the Hartman's yellow. Really nice size ones, good tomatoes. Love these. Next to us right here, this is the red zebra. So look at the color on this. Look at the sh how striking it is, the beauty. I mean, <laughs> some of these heirlooms are just absolutely incredible. Look how the basket is coming together. The colors. Really nice. Here's the, another one I can't pronounce. This is definitely an Italian variety. This thing does not grow big. I have a few of them. They're staying really short, but they do put out a lot of tomatoes. Next to me right here, we've got the German Lunchbox. This is a pretty little pink tomato. I like the way this one looks. This reminds me of the uh, Sweet Treats, which I have some of. The Sweet Treats is such a good variety too. Then we've got the black, uh, the black pear tomatoes. These are looking really nice too. Plan is loaded. Happy with the way this one's turning out. And then back here, we have the, uh, the Violet Jasper. Let me grab a few of these. Really good color, but uh, this tomato has had a lot of disease problems and so have the other ones that I planted in this garden. The Violet Jasper, so really beautiful color, but I don't think it's worth it because uh, a lot of disease issues in this one. We're gonna move over and grab some more stuff. We've got a plane <laughs> flying right over top. I live pretty close to the beach, so sometimes we get some of these planes that fly over and just show some of the advertisement and stuff, but we think it just like, it just goes to show we're just living in a normal area. This is a normal backyard and really anybody can do what we're doing back here. So I wanna grab a couple of these cabbages because they're just huge. Before I do that though, I need to find my pruners, which I left over here. And actually before we grab the cabbages, let's get Tuck some carrots. I know I got some carrots in here. Let's check these ones out right here. Tuck, what do you think, boy? What do you think, dude? Smell the carrots in here. Let's let him find one of his own. Right there, he's found it. Let's, let's let him take it out. 
Oh, the boss harvests his own carrots. Looks like a nice one. Let me just give it a quick wipe for you, buddy. Quick wipe off, snap off the end. And let him go to town. Oh, he doesn't want to miss any. What do you think, buddy? If you guys love seeing Tuck in the video, spam those hearts. This guy is the boss. He's a leader. He never quits. He's always going hard. Let me put this next to him. Look at how beautiful this guy is in the garden next to the tomatoes he grew. So this is his harvest today. Fortunately, he shares the tomatoes with us because uh, he does a good job growing them, taking care of the whole garden, keeping the bunnies out, keeping the uh, squirrels out, keeping everything out. While the boss is snacking on his carrot, let's grab one of these cabbages. Let me take one of these red ones first. You won't believe how dense these things are. Just, just listen to this, ready? I mean, it's so dense, it's incredible. I wanna take this one out. This is the Red Express. So dense and so heavy. I can't believe how much denser it got as it started to ripen. I wasn't expecting it, but man, it's like solid rock. Really nice. Now I've got one more I wanna grab right here. Another early Jersey Wakefield next to me because this thing has gotten incredibly dense too. <laughs> and it's just absolutely beautiful. Let's take this guy out. So many cabbage this year. We've been harvesting them for just months and I, I mean weeks. I missed another cabbage in the other bed. One of the dead on Savoy's that was beautiful. But this one is good for now. I wanted to kind of harvest both of them so I can knock them together. You can hear it. Ready? I mean, <laughs> this is just solid food. I'm saying like 15, 10 pounds or something, each of them, maybe seven pounds, but they are so heavy, so much food, so incredibly blessed to be, have all this cabbage, all these tomatoes, grapes in the back, just, I mean, unlimited food everywhere I look. That's today's video, goers. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Me and Tuck had a blast out here. Sorry if I was just running around so quickly. The thing is, I have so much to show. I have so much stuff to grab, and I'm trying not to make the videos too long. This thing could have been like 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm trying to keep them like about 20 minutes or something. I don't want it much longer than that, but it's, uh, it's hard for me because everything just draws me in. Every time I see something, I want to run over and show it. Like for instance, we didn't get to show the grapes. I want to run over and show those, but it's like, uh, I need to try to keep the videos relatively condensed and try to make it so it brings value to you guys because sometimes I just get too wrapped up in what I'm doing out here, me and Tuck. I want to get this guy a little water. He's been out here crushing it. You can see we're using the Grow water bottle. If you want to grab a water bottle, check out the merch at jamesprigioni.com. We got the kneelers, we got the water bottle, we got the grow shirts, and the summer stuff is only going to be around for a short period of time. We're about to end that uh, summer merch, so if you guys want to grab one, make sure you do while you still can because time is running out. I also wanted to mention uh, thank you to our new channel member, Rod Fichter. Thanks for being a part of Team Grow. Thanks for having your hand in everything you're doing. It just means so much to me and the little boss. Look how much he's drinking. He's going to town because it's just super hot out. Although we have a bit of an overcast in regards to the sun, it's still super hot and super humid. And uh, we're just trying to make the most of it and have a lot of fun out here. As you guys can see, this was the first big tomato harvest. We still have more harvest coming down the pipe. The cuc cucumbers are doing good. It's just such an incredible feeling that every year we're harvesting way more than the year before. And that's what we want for you guys also. So that's why we share these videos. Make sure you keep a journal, make sure you keep growing, and make sure you do not stop learning. James and Talk will be back again real soon. We out.